More students are heading back to class today, and this morning our special back to school coverage continues in Fremont. And that's where the school district is moving away from the junior high school model and instead uh, creating middle schools. That means that they're now making room for sixth graders. First up is what was once called Walters Junior High, and KPIX 5's Jackie Ward joins us live from there this morning. Jackie? Good morning, Kenny and Michelle. Technically, if you check out the sign behind me, it still says Walter Junior High, but in eight short days, that will all change. This has been under construction for three years now. It is the first of five middle schools that will be created in the Fremont Unified School District. Every possible minute, construction crews will be putting on the finishing touches until students walk through the door. Fremont Unified School District Superintendent Kim Wallace says she cannot wait until the first day they're here. It's one thing when you're doing the infrastructure and all of the wiring, and it's another when you see the big, beautiful buildings and happy kids going to school. In 2014, Measure E was passed, which gave the Fremont Unified School District $650 million to upgrade schools and deal with population growth and modernization. This project at Walters is converting some old buildings while adding some new ones and cost about $50 million. It's nice to see to finally get uh, like in the 21st century. Fremont is in a unique position. The district is increasing enrollment while it's surrounded by declining districts. Certainly we have to find classrooms to put students in, but we would much rather be in a place where kids are coming to Fremont and wanting to be in our schools. As part of that shuffle, Fremont is creating a middle school model and moving away from the junior high model. This means Fremont will finally match what the rest of the state is doing. Well, it gives them more space, certainly, so that we don't have to overload students to other schools, which is a great thing. People can go to their neighborhood schools. After a decade as principal at Walters, Brian Williams says this school year will bring new challenges with it. Two-thirds of my student body are going to be new. So it's going to be six and seven is going to be brand new. Eighth grade is going to be the only old guard. And they're, they're going to be uh, social ed and academic leaders for these, these new students. The next obstacle for the district will be monitoring demographic trends to make sure they project the right amount of space for their students and that they're not overbuilding or underbuilding. Just depends on who actually ends up moving into those spaces. Are they people with kids? Or are they not people with kids? And so that's the big question for us. The city of Fremont is adding 8,000 new housing units over the next few years as they create four more middle schools. Next up is Horner Junior High. There they have to just completely demolish all of the remaining buildings because they found out that it was cheaper to rebuild than to modernize the existing buildings. Back here at Walters, there will be a 330 ribbon cutting ceremony to officially make it a middle school. In Fremont, Jackie Ward, KPIX 5. Jackie, thank you. And our special back to school coverage continues tomorrow as students head back to class. They face a new normal these days, school shooting drills, how local police departments are preparing students for the worst. That's tomorrow on KPIX 5 starting at 430.